Blockly is a JavaScript library for building visual programming editors. In the past 10 years, it has grown from a one-person project to a core component of many educational applications. This video demonstrates some working snapshots leading up to Blockly's initial public release. Blockly started life in the summer of 2011 as a test of rendering blocks. In this demo, one can build an arbitrary block by setting its color, title, tooltip, connectors, value inputs, and statement inputs. It also featured what would become inline inputs. The goal was to replicate MIT's OpenBlocks project, but using JavaScript instead of Java, and preferably with fewer horrific rendering bugs. A few months later, Blockly's testing interface still looked much the same. Blocks were still created step by step. The big difference was that once a block was created, it could be frozen and a new block created. Now one could drag blocks around the workspace and connect them to each other. Other new features included a single editable field and a trash can. No one actually knew where the bitmap for the trash can came from, so we eventually had to replace it to avoid potential copyright issues. By early 2012, Blockly was a functioning programming environment. A small selection of predefined blocks had been created. This included a single variable with a hard-coded name. The workspace was now scrollable, and even more important, the program could be rendered as JavaScript. This version also features the now legendary Airstrike performance test. And finally, right-to-left rendering makes its first appearance here. In my earlier work on Google Docs, I'd learned the hard way that the best time to add RTL support for Arabic and Hebrew is early in the development cycle. Never leave RTL as an afterthought. Blocks could now support comments, though this is a feature that, as far as we can tell, no Blockly user has ever taken advantage of. With all the fundamentals working solidly, user visible progress accelerated rapidly. By the initial release, we had a toolbox, a healthy selection of blocks, drop down fields, named variables, and even primitive mutators. Blocks could generate as JavaScript, as Dart, or as Python. Blocks could also serialize to and from XML. More importantly, a set of demos was now available so that developers could see Blockly in action. This included the code editor, a right-to-left demo, although at the time we didn't have any actual Arabic or Hebrew translations to use, and finally, the killer app at the time, the maze demo. Here we get to look at the awful UI of our earliest mutator. It was a modal dialog, so there was no way of seeing what the actions inside the mutator were doing to the outer block. Blockly launched at the 2012 Bay Area Maker Fair. The maze demo proved particularly popular, and we got a lot of good feedback. Blockly started spreading by word of mouth, by blog post, and by print media. Today, Blockly is being used as the core library in hundreds, maybe thousands of applications. From education to financial to robotics, Blockly provides users an easy method to do complex things. It has been an amazing 10 years, 
and I look forward to seeing what Blockly is capable of in another 10 years.